Our devotional thought today comes from the book of Exodus. It comes from that truth I've been teaching you that the promises of God and the doctrines of God all have limits or boundaries. And sometimes these boundaries are conditions. One of the beautiful truths in the Word of God is that God's promises often have a boundary of conditions placed upon them. And there are many people, they want the promises of God, but they don't want to fulfill the conditions. Now listen to a promise God made to Israel in Exodus 19, beginning with verse 5. Now, if you obey me. Now, when you see a promise like that in the Bible, circle it. Now, if you obey me and keep my covenant, you will be my own special treasure from among all the peoples of the earth, for all the earth belongs to me. And you will be my kingdom of priests, my holy nation. This is the message you must give to the people of Israel. An incredible promise a promise of relationship, a promise of service, but it was all based on an if, if you will obey me and keep my covenant. There was a condition there, obedience and keeping the covenant. He said, then we're gonna have relationship, you're gonna be my special treasure. And he said, we're gonna have service. You're gonna be my kingdom of priests, you're gonna be my holy nation. Now, God hasn't changed in his desire to touch a world with a, a body of people, 1 Peter 2.23. The church now is called a holy nation. The church is called a kingdom of priests today. God always wants to take a group of people and use us to serve him to touch a world. But he makes beautiful promises to us, but there are some conditions. Now, we are a people who believe in salvation by grace. But once we are saved by grace, we are also to live a sanctified life. And I want you to understand that many of the promises of God in our lives are conditioned, are conditioned by our decisions and by the lifestyles we choose to live. You're gonna have two people making different decisions and choosing different lifestyles to live. One will walk in the promises of God and one will be frustrated and say, where are the promises of God? God hasn't changed. Just one fulfilled the conditions, one did not.